I'm a gay teacher and I, I am getting lit. I'm a gay teacher and I, I am getting lit. I'm a gay teacher and I, I am getting lit. Hey friends, I'm Joel Kralowski, the super brave teacher, and today I am getting lit. Getting lit? What? Joel, what are you smoking? And can I have some? Nothing. I'm smoking nothing, but I am reading a lot. I'm reading so much this summer. Every year, I try to read at least a hundred books. A hundred books? Joel, how do you have the time? Good question. I'm getting to that. But first of all, I am the super brave teacher, Joel Karlewski, and welcome to the channel. Let's get to that hundred books thing. How do I read a hundred books? I don't. I listen to two thirds of those books. Every day, I have my headphones on and I'm listening to books on my phone, usually on Overdrive, free from the library, Overdrive, download it, it's awesome. I love, love, love listening to books. I also love sitting down and reading books. I'm that person who once they're in a coffee shop, goes into the like hyper focus mode and I am so in a book that I hear nothing. I love, love, Reading. So, I thought I would share with you the top six books that are impacting my summer. The top six books that are changing my life. And yep, I speak in the superlative. That's who I am. They are changing my life, and I hope they change your life too. And true story, I stink at proper nouns. I can't remember any authors or book titles offhand. So I use an app called Goodreads, and I just put in all the books I'm reading. If you want to see what books I'm reading, go on Goodreads. Type in my name, Joel Karlovsky, and you will see all my books I'm reading. But this is the top six. Make this short and sweet. You could read a summer online. Someone is much better at doing that than me. I'm gonna tell you what the book is, and I'm gonna pump it up because these books are awesome, and read them now. Number one, Just Mercy, a story of justice and redemption. Wow, 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 wow. Two, how to talk so little kids will listen. Yes, I am gonna print out this book or parts of this book for all of my parents so that they can see the beauty of how to talk so kids will listen and how to listen so kids will talk. Such a great book. Read it if you are a parent. Read it if you work with kids. It is awesome. Redefining Realness by Janet Mock. Wow, I'm obsessed with Janet Mock. Her podcast is awesome, her books are awesome. Dig into Janet Mock, savor her writing, enjoy it. Redefining. Number four, and I'm gonna read the title because it's that good. Too Fat, Too Slutty, Too Loud, The Rise and Reign of the Unruly Woman. Wow, for someone who feels like they're too much, just empathizing with these amazing women. <sighs> wow. Number five, Hunger, A Memoir of My Body by Roxane Gay. Intense, deep, moving. She inspires me so much to examine life and to think of things through multiple perspectives. And I'm not gonna give anything away Read it. Hunger. Roxanne. Gay. Wow. 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 And number six, You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. I want to rewrite the book with her. She is so good. How to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life. This book, I don't know why I waited so long to read this book. It is so good. It is changing who I am. It is changing my summer my teaching philosophy, my personal philosophy, just firing me up to do me, read the book, it is awesome. And Jen Sincero, if you're watching this video too, I'm coming for you, I wanna write a badass teaching book with you. Yes! You're thinking to yourself, Joel, you told us nothing, you gave us six titles. Yep, that's what I'm here to do. I'm not a perfect literary critic, nor do I claim to be, but I do claim to be an awesome, avid reader who loves books, digs deeply into books, reads hundreds of books, I was always that kid who was on his bike, biking to the library with two bags on each handlebar because I can't get enough of reading. I love reading. Good readers are good writers. Good writers are good readers. 
We need to model for kids that reading is so important. So enjoy those books. Listen to them if you're like me and you don't have time to always sit down and read. It turns daily chores into fun things, just listening to audiobooks. I'm actually gonna go do that right now. I gotta clean the house. So I'm gonna go put on my audiobook and enjoy it. I'm listening to David Sedaris's new book. I'll keep you posted if it's good. Have a great day. You are awesome. You are appreciated. You are important. Keep reading. And if you're not reading, be gentle on yourself. Try to read one book. It's all good. It's all good. Enjoy getting lit this summer. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.